Crackling, popping and other sound problems can occur for a variety of reasons. You may be able to fix the problems by adjusting your audio device's settings, updating your sound driver or pinning down another hardware device that is interfering. Here are some things to try. Before you start messing with settings, it is worth checking your hardware itself. If a cable connection is loose, this could cause some sound problems. Ensure all your audio cables are connected securely. If the problem persists, here are a few potential solutions. Number 1. Change your audio format. Changing the audio quality on your output device can solve some problems. To check your audio quality, right click the speaker icon in the notification area next to your clock and select playback devices. Double click the default playback device which has a green check mark on its icon. Click the advanced tab and use the default format box to select your sound quality level. Try setting your audio quality to 16 bit 44100HZ that is CD quality. Click OK afterwards and see if the cracking or audio problems continue. This change can fix some audio problems. If it is set to CD quality and you experience problems, try changing to another audio format level and see what happens. Second one is disable audio enhancements. Some sound drivers use software enhancements in an attempt to improve your sound quality. If these are not working properly, or if your CPU is being taxed too heavily, these could result in sound problems. To disable sound enhancements, use the same properties window. Click the Enhancements tab here. If you see one and check the Disable All Enhancements checkbox. Click OK to save your changes and then test to see if the problem continue. Note all software drivers perform this function, so you would not always see the Enhancements tab on all systems. There may be a similar tab here, like one named Sound Blast where you shall find similar effects to disable. There may be no option to disable enhancements at all. It depends on your sound hardware and drivers. Next one is disable exclusive mode. Some sound drivers seem to have issues with the exclusive mode option that allows applications to take exclusive control of your sound card. This should not normally be a problem. Blame bad sound drivers if it causes issues on your system. You shall find this setting on the same window where the default format option is. Disable the allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Option under exclusive mode. Click OK and see if this solved your problem. This option normally is not a problem. So you should probably re-enable it if disabling it doesn't solve the problem. Next one is update your sound drivers. Some problems may be fixed in newer sound drivers. If you are using older sound drivers, you may need to update them to fix various bugs. Windows 10 automatically attempts to keep your drivers up to date. But even then, it may not always offer the latest sound drivers. To get newer sound drivers, visit your computer manufacturer's website, find the driver download page for your model of PC, and download the latest sound drivers available there. If you built your own PC, check the driver download page for your motherboard manufacturer or your sound card manufacturer if you use a separate sound card instead of your motherboard's onboard sound card. Check your DPC latency. This problem may also be caused by DPC latency. DPC stands for Deferred Procedure Call. This is the part of Windows that handles hardware drivers. If a driver takes too long to do something, it can prevent other drivers, like your sound driver, from doing a work they need to do in a timely fashion. This can lead to audio problems like clicks, pops, dropouts, and other issues. To check your DPC latency, download and run Latency Mode. Click the Start button and let it run in the background for a while. It will monitor your system's hardware drivers and provide recommendations, informing you which hardware driver seems to be the problem. If a particular hardware driver is causing problem, you can try updating the device driver. Disable the device, removing it from your system or replacing it. Even if you see some latency issues here, they are not necessarily a problem on a typical PC where you just need to listen to music, watch videos and play video games. If the tool warns you about a problem but you can't hear one, you do not need to disable any hardware. This is more important for professional use cases where you really do need real-time audio. But if you do hear a problem, the tool might indicate a hardware driver at fault.